Hey, what are you two doing down here? Well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm the captain of this boat you're sitting on. Well, my name is Casey and this is Finnegan. And we were looking for the captain because we were wondering if we could go for a ride. Sure, I'd love to take you for your ride. Let's go. Have you ever been on a boat before? No, no, not, not one of these that catches fish. So what are all these things up here? What is all this stuff? Well, if you look up here at the top, that's called a sounder. And the sounder looks, yeah. shows us where the bottom is and it shows us where all the her big herring balls are. Good. Yeah. Casey and Pinnigan, would you like to go and see some sea lions? I'd like to see them. Are Great. they very, very big? Well, they are huge. Oh, look at all the sea lions. There must be hundreds of them. See the mom there on the rocks feeding her baby? Oh, yes. Well, what's she going to eat? All these sea lions, they eat lots of different kinds of fish. They really, really like herring. That's their favorite thing right now because that's mm. why they come here. I should have brought them one. Not only sea lions eat herring, but salmon really like herring too. Hmm. And you know who likes salmon? Killer whales really like salmon. They need salmon. Oh. It's a big part of what they eat. Good, then we should let make sure they have lots there left for them. Yeah, yeah. And birds need herring, and all the creatures that come around our island here at this time of the year all need herring to migrate, to go where they lay their eggs to go away there, have their babies, and so they can travel up north. <laughs> yeah. First Nations people really need herring a lot. Mm -hmm. Would you like to hear, hear, hear about them from a First Nations chief? Yes, please. Okay, we're gonna get Chief Eric Pelkey to talk about them. Good. Uh, I really uh, believe, and uh, so do our, so does the Finnish Leadership Council that there there needs to be a moratorium on the on the herring fishery in order to let it rebuild and uh, resurge in our waters. Uh, we believe that it is it is a, a foundation foundation fish for everything else that lives in the sea, and without the herring, uh, nothing else can live. So now I know that herring are very important for lots of people and animals as well. Yeah, it's what it's what scientists call a keystone species. What's that mean? Well, it means it's really important, just like you said, for all the birds and the fish and uh -huh. the whales and everybody that comes around Hornby Island. So what are all those boats doing out there anyway? Well, they're catching herring. Mm -hmm. They take the eggs from the herring that people like to eat, and the rest of the herring they use for fish farm food and for pet food. We must stop it. We have to protect the orca and salmon on sea lions and people who all rely on the herring. How do we stop it? Well, we could put a moratorium on the fishery and give the animals a chance to regrow. Finnegan wants to know what a moratorium is. Well, a moratorium is when you stop doing something and you let the herring go, let them have their babies, and the First Nations people can have them again. And it actually, in the long term, can be better for the fishermen. Casey and Finnegan, mm -hmm. you can help. Yes. If you could ask Prime Minister Trudeau mm -hmm. and the Fisheries Minister Bernadette Jordan, if she would put a moratorium and stop or slow down catching these herring and leave them for all the other creatures in the ocean. Okay, I will do that. I'd like to say to, to Prime Minister Trudeau and to Fisheries Minister Bernadette Jordan, please would you shut down the herring fishery and let the herring live. Thanks Casey and Finnegan for coming on the boat. Thank you for taking us. And special thanks to Judith Lawrence who's behind the screen here and is your, yeah, back there <laughs> who lives on Hornby Island and has made this whole thing work. Isn't that wonderful? Yes.